G'day folks, uh, thanks for tuning in. Today we are reviewing a bit of a game changer in the laser category. Well you are, because I know next to nothing about it. Well, yeah, we'll get that together. <laughs> this is the Bosch GRL 600 CHV. Yep. It's a rotating laser, um, and this is the first of its kind in that it runs on an 18 volt battery. It's a little compartment down here. Yep. Um, your Bosch standards, your Bosch Procores, anything you whatever. want. Whatever. Yep. yep. Even a little pretend Bosch battery here that you can stick four D batteries in. Size. Yep. Um, so you can either use that or your actual batteries. Yep. I've been running this on a two amp hour slim battery just because what I had lying around. Yep. And that gave you what's it gives you? That gives you a two amp. It's about thirty hours. About doesn't thirty it? hours of runtime. Yeah. Yep. So you can fit an eight amp in there. Yeah. Which will give you about four and a half years. <laughs> About 120 right. hours. 120 hours. Yeah. 120 continuous hours. Yep. That's a lot of lasering. That is a lot. Um, so, I mean, we are not by any means experts on lasers. Yep. Um, we know how to use them. Yep. We use them occasionally. Yep. We took this one out to a building site. A um, friend of ours is uh, working at a school. Yep. Building an enormous new building there, doing the foundations and all at the moment. Yep. Um, and uh, so. I was helping out there with some, they were doing some concrete foundations yep. for a big retaining wall, that sort of thing. Uh, we put it to good use there. Now, I guess what you guys need to know about this laser, apart from the fact that it's battery uh, powered, yep. is that it's pretty much top of the line. Well, it's dual grade. Yes. IP68, which means you can go for a swim with the thing yep. and have zero issues. Um, and a 600 meter diameter. That's right. That's right. So, um, first, going back to dual grade, that means it can uh, level itself up to eight and a half degrees yep. on an angle in X and Y. And it's got little markers on the top here to help you see where they are, the X and the Y. Yeah, which I need. Yeah, which everyone needs. <laughs> um, which, I mean, that automatically puts it into the upper echelon, the upper tier of yep. lasers. Yeah. Yep. That, that's a big part of the reason why this thing in Australia retails for 2799 Yep. So this is not a small outlay. No, it's not. One of the main things that you picked up straight away and that we loved and that Dan, um, who was the builder he went and saw, picked up. Yeah. The receiver is key. Yes. This thing's your dual side LCD at the back. Yeah. It's got tons of little features on it. Now, Dan in particular has a different brand laser and had it for years. Yeah. He went out and, and launched out five bills to upgrade his laser to make it the dual sided LCD. So yeah. that is big news yes. to have it in that package. It is. That's, that's a, part of the cost. It's, it's a big part of the cost. It's a really, really nice receiver. Yep. That's the LC650. Ooh, LR60. LR60. Yep. So not only yeah, do you have the screens on both sides, but it's going to tell you within about 55 mil how far away you are from level as you're yep. lowering and lifting So you haven't stuff. got just an arrow and a beep. No, that's right. It's, it's telling you how far you, away you are. Yep. You've got um, the ability to change between 0.5 mil accuracy yep. up to 1, 2, 5, and 10. So a large range of, of accuracy settings that are available. Yep. As well as um, four, yeah, four sound settings. So silent. Which is great. Yeah. These things do your head in some days on a site. Yep. So yeah, you've got different audibles and then you can also mute the thing obviously. Yeah. But then you're running purely off the visual, which if you've got the double sided, yep. having just the visual for a while to shut it up is not too bad. Like, that's that's key for it. That's on the quiet setting right now. Yes, that's yeah, so quiet. Didn't quite uh, blow her ears away. No. Yep. So yeah, the receiver is really good. Yep. Um, and you know, being the six hundred me meter diameter you talked about, that means you can go three hundred meters yep. away from the unit. Yep. That's the radius. Yep. In any direction, and that receiver is going to pick it up. Uh, the it does come with a remote, which is this little guy here. <coughs> What's this one called? This is the RC six, and that has a hundred meter radius. So you can't operate that as far away as you can the receiver yep. itself. Yep. Um, but pretty handy little unit, um, I think, to be able to have in your back pocket or your nail bag. Yep. Um, particularly for me, I love to be able to put the laser to sleep. 
well, what's the point of it running if you're sitting in a trench and you're actually chatting to the digger or doing something out there and for almost an hour, That's right. you don't need it on. Yep. You don't want to have to walk stra- across to the unit that's 100 or 150 or 200 metres. Yep. You can hit snooze on it, or yep. 100 metres, sorry, yep. um, and shut the thing down for a bit. That's right. Um, just a little thing. Yep. Of course, that's not where you're going to buy the laser, yep. but um, it is nice to be able to put it to sleep at distance yep. from the uh, from the, the lunch shed if you want yep. to, Yep. Um, and then one, one button and you're back on. Um, by the way, this unit, it feels incredibly strong. I want you to do I, what you said before I you were going to do. I can't break this in my hands. But you I, said you were going to drive over it with Well, I, I'm tempted. <laughs> I could drive over it in my ute. I'm pretty sure I could. <laughs> I do want this unit at the end of the day. I need a laser. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a really nice little remote control there. Yep. Uh, what else is there to say about the unit? Let's talk about the features of the actual, where the money is, the yep. money maker here, this, yep. the GRL 600 CHV. Um, first of all, IP68 rating. Yeah, and that is huge. Yep. So listen to the explanation, which you're gonna give. I'm gonna give, okay. <laughs> well, the eight part of it is the water rating. Yep. And this unit is uh, rated to be submerged in 1.5 meters of water for half an hour. Yeah, that's huge. That's not just, a, it'll cop a shower, no. it'll cop a sprinkle or anything like that. Yeah. That is dead set. This thing can stay on your job site and be in the middle of a monsoon. Yep. And it's still going to keep pinging. I don't know about the receiver or the remote. No, I'm not sure actually. But it's, it's going to be, this is the key. Well, that's the thing that's going to be sitting out the whole time. Exactly. Um, if you want to go have a bath with it, because you're that excited about it, <laughs> feel free to. <laughs> um... It's also shock rated to two meters. Yep. Uh, which is, I believe it's shock rated while it's on its stand. I'm not sure if it's different. Maybe don't try this at home. Probably don't just drop it onto a concrete slab from two meters height. <laughs> but I think when it's on its when it's on the uh, when it's on the stand, then it can tip over up to two meters. Okay. And it's going to be okay. Yep. Um, so that's really important because these are expensive units and you don't want them... And I'll get kicked and knocked with an excavator bucket every now and again, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. And and this unit is is uh, pretty pretty beefy, huh? It's beefy. Just quickly, not a massive thing, but you do want to protect it. Yeah. But it is physically a massive thing. There's the box yeah. that it comes in. It's full of solid foam. So, yeah, it's going to take up a bit of room, mm. but you got that laser and it is fully protected inside that case. That's right. So that is what it comes with. The other thing that also comes with is a wall bracket here. This is a ridiculously strong steel bracket. Yeah. So you can bung a couple of screws there, top and bottom, and have that thing sitting up in the corner. So if you're running ceilings and doing droppers or anything like that, have it up off the ground. You don't have to have it on a tripod. Yeah. So if you're able to, screw it, set it, bang, you're done. You could also use this to mount it um, sideways for when you're doing walls and things. Yep. Now the interesting thing that um, you were saying before, and I clearly haven't used it with it, you can actually, this has got masking availability. What's that? It does. Okay, so um, anyone who's used a laser outside a lot knows that windows can be your killer. Yep. Um, and so what this unit, and, and you know, it's not the first to do it, but you can mask it, which means that it's actually going to not shoot the laser out on all four sides here. Yep. It's what you choose. You can actually mask up to three of them. Yep. And that was actually really handy because there was windows out at the school and they started playing Havoc for us at one point. Yep. So I... Yeah, it was a big sheet window. Yeah. Yep. At the school. So I quickly whipped out the phone and masked the three sides of this that were looking at the windows and we just used one. Yeah. Now, I didn't see you do that. Was that... Can that be done via the remote no. and your phone? No. That I believe that is only on the app. Okay. But the app is so simple. Okay. So it's actually a bit strange, isn't it, that one of the features can only be done from a phone app but anyway it is really really simple and easy to use all right so this is the uh, bosch leveling app so if i go into the rotary laser control in here you can see some of the different options that we've got um, i'm just going to tell you quickly about a few of them first of all this is the shock control you can actually turn that off if you want to um, i'm not sure why people would want to but you can then you have your mask mode i love this feature where you can actually turn off each quadrant or quarter by tapping on them. You can see they've gone from red to pink and you hit apply. And then 
if you were to go up to the laser, you'll see now that it's only flashing on the front one, which is pretty great. I'll put them back on. And then lastly, I really like how I can put the actual grades in. If you want to grade on your X and Y, you can go straight in and type them rather than pressing up, 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 down, 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 etc. I can apply that and now the unit has stopped its leveling um, to get that those new grades. That's gonna take uh, 30 seconds or so. It's not instant for that. In the meantime, you can see this app is telling me the battery of battery level um, of the 18 volt battery in the unit. Um, and lastly, so there it goes. It's now on 5% and 2%. And lastly, I can put the unit to sleep from here as well. Very impressive app. Duane, I use this with the concreters, with guys who know how to use lasers. Yeah. You did a fair bit of research. I'm fairly thick with a rotary laser, especially one that's relatively complex. Yeah. But what I will say, which is key for me and key for a few people out there, I used it for a basic laundry set out yep. where I was doing stump holes, etc. And then I was running a subframe, what do you call it? Frame on the floor. Sure. Subframe. Subfloor. It's subfloor. It was really easy for me literally just to press it on and Although it's a nice complex thing, it also can be super basic. Set on the tripod, set it up, got my zero, and went around and leveled everything up. Done. I didn't need everything to be super complex. No, and it's got a nice big screen on the front that's really easy yep. to know what's going on. Yep. Uh, now, speaking of that, what it's also going to do is tell you when things aren't right. Yep. So if this was sitting on the tripod and it took a big knock, yep. and the laser knows that it's been thrown around, yep it's going to alarm. So this is what you're hearing now is the shock alarm. Yep. Right, that's gonna tell you, hey, I might not be where I'm supposed to be anymore. Yep. I'm not going to let you take any measurements until you confirm that I haven't moved. Yep, so you've gotta come back to the so machine So you've gotta come physically. back to the laser and press the uh, level button here, the X, Y button. And so you've just told it, nah, we're all good, we're fine. We're fine, we're sitting on a concrete slab, it definitely hasn't moved. Yep. It's fine, you just took a bump and it's gonna come back. Yep. So that's the shock one. There's also a leveling alarm when, you know, maybe it's just taking a very small knock, it's gonna know that it's at a level. Yep. And it's gonna stop. Oh shoot, it's gonna make an idiot of us. No, nah, there we go. There it goes. So it says, hey, I'm not level. Yep. So, like any laser. Yep. Any laser, it's going to adjust, it's going to self-level itself and then... Yep. And so then it's got a couple of levels of warning. The shock one's important. Yeah. Pass on, walk past and kicks the crap out of it. Exactly. But obviously you've got your, your zero, you've got your datum, you come back, check, the, hit the button, check it and you're right to go again. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, so there it goes again, it's done, it's done its level. Yep. Yeah, warranty on this. Oh, that's a good question. I'm going to have to annotate that because I forgot okay. to look it up. All right. Um, <coughs> now it's uh, another, I mean, we can't tell you about every feature of this, partly because it's too many, partly because I'm not a laser expert, um, but another really nice one was it's got a, a function that, where it tells you what the grade is. Uh, you might call it a find me function. Yep. Yep. Alright, so what we want to do is find out the grade of this little patio section here. And so first of all, um, what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to set, we don't have my staff here today, but um, we're just going to set this uh, receiver to be level with the laser here. Okay, so that's level there. And now, what I can do is I walk over to the section that I want to know the, the grade of. This is in the X axis from the laser, I stand right in front of it. There's a little button here on the receiver, which is like a find me. So I'm going to hold that down, and it says CFX, uh, which is something to do with the center, center line function on the X axis, that's what it is. So what the laser is going to do is it's, it goes up first, so it's going to take a little while. And then it's going to come back down until it finds the level. All right, here it goes. It's getting close to it now. Okay. 
that tells me that we're on the receiver there so I can put this down now and we can go over to the actual laser and it tells me that our grade is 1.96 percent stinking cool we use that out at your job site yep. Yep. just to find out what grade the that kind of patio area is yeah right now yep so that when you redo it it's still got enough drainage yeah i'm sure a salty old dog who's been doing it for 40 years yeah could work that out absolutely but it's got a function that doesn't so that's, right. that's a bonus it is it's all a bonus yeah. yep right so i think that's probably as many features and stuff as we want to touch on i think we've touched on the main points um battery powered huge yep super durable yep and just incredibly easy to use yep that's going to be my summary of this unit yeah, I think that's fair. I used it for some very basic stuff. We then did the find me. You yeah. then with the guys on site did some concreting. I think it, it's a pretty cool unit. Yeah. And we found out some of the little nuances that in it yeah. really fast. Personally, um, having a battery powered is just huge for me. I um, am a handyman. I probably use these once a month or something. Yep. Um, I don't carry a lot of batteries around with me. To just know that I've got a big battery in it right now and I can check just by pressing the button yeah. on the battery that it's still got charge. Yep. I, I just think that's so much better. And, and you've plus, got Bosch tools in your ute, so if you've got Bosch tools in exactly. your ute and you're on the Bosch platform, you're always going to have a battery ready to go for that. But it's yeah. not going to suck it dry no. like a rotary hammer is in, a, no. in a half an hour. That's right. You, you've got it for days. Exactly right. Um, and plus, you know, what's it cost? 10, 15 bucks for a, a, a pack of four D batteries? I haven't bought them for about four years. It does. Does it? Yeah, that's how much You're it right. Um, so, yeah, that's another little bonus. Okay. Um, have we found any faults or things that we don't like about it? Other than the clip on the case that annoyed me. Oh, that's true. Um, Which sounds really silly. It, but it is silly. And it's not a part of the laser, really. But um, when Mike tried to close this, when it just wasn't quite something sitting up a bit too high, the, uh, the buckle on the lock... Uh, tore free of the case. It's just a little bit of a cheap clip. Yep. And uh, if Bosch were re-releasing this for any reason, Change the clips. I would encourage them to make that a little bit but more But it was hard to find anything that didn't quite work right with this. No, that's it, right. It, it, it does its job. It functions well. It's integrated well. The app integrates well. Yeah. Time's going to tell about how durable it is. Yep. It seems like it's going to be super tough. Yep. It's user calibratable, which is pretty amazing. That's, if, that's awesome. I haven't heard of that You before. don't have to send it away. Yep. Um, we've got more little things in the case. It's got the glasses. It's got the little target, red red plate target thing. Yep. Um, but yeah, we really love this unit. I guess it's all about price. Can you justify nearly $2,800 yep. for your laser? Yep. The first thing that Tom, one of the builders, said to me was, I hope they're going to bring this out in a non-dual axis yep. version. Yep. Just a simple flat laser. Yep. Because he said that's where a lot of the cost sits. Well, if you could get something like that at, I don't know, fourteen ninety nine, seventeen ninety nine, yeah, for the slightly smaller big boy, yeah, then and it can hold even of just a four amp battery, yeah, awesome. Because someone like myself and potentially yeah. you, never going to use a dual grade. I'm not going to no, ever no. use a dual grade laser. Definitely not. So I would want, like Tom said, don't dual grade. If you can cut five or eight hundred bucks off it for me, yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. So. Time will tell. I haven't heard about whether that's uh, a thing or not that Bosch are yep. looking into. Yep. But certainly for what it is, it seemed the price doesn't seem outrageous at all. No. And Bosch aren't rookies with lasers and no. pointers and all that sort of stuff. So I'm happy to back it in when you check the warranty on it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I reckon she's the goods. If this was a, a Milwaukee or something who I've never seen bring out a laser, yep. all of a sudden they've got a battery on, you're going to go, well, they know how to do batteries, but do they know how to do lasers? Well, the laser, yeah. Um, yep, fair cool. Bosch are not new to this at all. No. All right, well, I think that'll be it for now. Cool. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, please subscribe to our channel. We're really looking to, to drive our subscribers up. Yep. Um, and head in the comments, tell us what you think. What's your favorite tool brand, Dan? The answer was Bosch, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make a laser, so <laughs> in terms of lasers, well, I have to be Bosch. That was Bosch. <laughs>